Tobago Thursdays continue on the Now Morning Show. So prior to the pandemic, the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited won second place for overall best stand at the 2019 Global Bird Fair, leading to arrival figures that showed a forecasted growth trajectory. With the return of the fair in person, the agency has been back out on their first post-COVID-19 mission to the United Kingdom. This morning, we are joined by Deputy Chairperson Nassim Mohammed to learn more about the representation at the Global Bird Fair. Good morning, Mr. Mohammed. Hi, good morning to you and the listening viewers. Thank um, you so much. Sorry, I could not be in person, but or even on Zoom. Well, thank you so much for being with us here this morning. We appreciate it. So, Mr. Mohammed, one of the first things we need to hear a bit more about is what exactly is the Global Bird Fair and who attends this event? Well, it's, um, it's an annual bird fair that is held in the UK. Um, as you said, mentioned before, it was we attended the 2019, that was our last showing. Um, it was subsequently um, taken over by a new, a new uh, company. Um, and we thought it was important to ensure that our presence again was there. So um, it was to promote the, you know, we have a niche market, the building um, sector in Tobago, which is a very big tourism um, attraction on the island. Um, as you know, we are actually um, the fifth ranked, um, fifth, fifth largest in the world by per capita by the National Audubon Society, uh, which is a U.S. based company. So it, um, it was really ensured in that our, our footprint continues to be um, in the international market as uh, welcoming the builders, as well as also the opportunity to, to meet with other trade partners in the UK. So, Mr. Mohammed, what sort of events took place at this fair? I mean, I'm assuming obviously there'll be some sort of networking and marketing of Tobago. Well, so this actually, this fair is actually attended by um, a, a lot of um, builders throughout the, the entire um, country and as well as um, other parts of the region. So um, it was really to ensure that um, the, the, building, the building aspect of it is, and the landscape of it, of the Bego, um, continues to be welcoming to the, the UK visitors, as well as the opportunity for the other destinations to come to the Tobago um, to experience what we consider to be, um, you know, very unique um, because we do have over 260 species of birds on the island. So um, it was really and truly to, as an invitation as well as a continued footprint for the international market. So how was the agency received? I know, of course, the last time that the, it took place in person, the reception was absolutely amazing. It was looking great for Tobago. Was that followed through with with your most recent trip to the UK? Well, I have to endorse that as being uh, resoundingly yes. Um, in fact, we had a lot of um, repeat um, persons coming to the actual booth itself. Um, we had over 200 um, actual visits. The, we got some. Uh, the, the, the we actually carried one of our stakeholders, um, which, which is Mr. Newton George, and in present, and he actually got some on-the-spot um, bookings, um, and well, as well as for future. Um, as I said, though, it was an opportunity to also look at the, the strategy of how we, how we were getting the numbers and um, to re reposition ourselves, because um, it's no secret that you know, we were very last out of the blocks in, uh, as a Caribbean destination. Um, so it was very important that we actually put our international presence, that we were open for business, um, and that was really critical for the island. So let's jump into that conversation because, of course, as we know, definitely things were looking positive after the last fair. We were looking forward to seeing many more people coming to Tobago to experience the tourism. Now, do you think that that is something that we are going to see moving forward as we start to, of course, welcome visitors back? And what exactly is the plan of the agency to ensure that at least this can start to happen? Okay, so most definitely, um, it has already had a positive impact, as I said. We already had um, some, on, some bookings and some future bookings. Um, we have also indicated, um, you know, we, laid, we have laid the platform um, for our stakeholders to actually experience it. Now, Tobago itself is a position whereby, you know, we depend, our, our main line is tourism. So, um, so to, that, to that extent, um, we have also um, provided um, financial assistance and support to our hoteliers, 
right? Because one of the other persons that actually visited, made the trip also was um, a representative from the Hotel Association. And um, so we, we as a total, well, was a grant from the central government and managed by the agency to ensure that our, our hotels and accommodations were up to par and up to standard. Um, it was a very rigorous um, process, I must tell you, that, um, you know, and a lot of transparency and accountability was held there. So to ensure that we were actually positioned um, so I think that overall, um, the agency has continued to make sure that we actually put ourselves there, um, lay the platform. Um, we are actually moving towards more digitalization, um, where persons could actually go online and book directly um, to the hotels, to the, to the building tours, to, the, to, to, to whether it was um, overall island tours. So that is the destination that we are looking towards, and we're going to continue to support the entire um, process of tourism on the island. It's wonderful to hear this, Mr. Muhammad, because, of course, one of the main draws for tourists going to an island, especially with a key interest such as bird watching, is being able to do everything in one go, for want of a better expression. As you mentioned, the island tours, booking the hotels and so forth. My next question to you is, what about seasons? Would you say that Tobago can look forward to a particular season where we will see an increase in tourism for bird watching? Okay, so bird watching actually runs between December to May. Um, this information was actually um, obtained and gathered while on tour, on the actual trade itself. Um, so we anticipate that between the period, um, you know, we also enter in the winter season. So we anticipate an increase um, of the arrivals to the destination. And, you know, so between that period of December to May, um, we expect the numbers to, to actually uh, at least um, to increase by at least 20 percent um, to where it is now. Um, I'm hoping it actually goes to 50, but you know I'm not going to be very optimistic that at the end of the day, you know, once you get back your feet wet, as I always say, if you actually stopped something from moving and then you have to restart the engine, it means that you have to, you know, put things back into place, reconnect, ensure that you know your presence is there. So I anticipate that during the period of December to me that we will see a definite increase on the visitation to the island, especially at any building community. Looking forward to seeing that boost to tourism and, of course, to the economy. Mr. Mohammed, before we go, just a quick question for you. What about domestic tourism when it comes to bird watching? Is this something that you've seen numbers in over the past few years, let's say pre-pandemic and, of course, post now? Well, you know, you know, we actually come, you know, we actually are to an island state. So while Trinidad may have um, roughly over 400 plus species, um, and in Tobago, we, we actually have a very unique situation where we have, as I said, 260 species, but you could actually see over a four-day period, um, approximately, I would say, just about 100 species in any one go because of the, 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 um, the size of the island. Um, domestic travel has been, always been one of the critical periods for us. I know that there are some things that are outside our purview, uh, but I must let you know that our Chief Secretary, um, you know, the Honorable Pauli Chavez Augustin, as well as our Line Secretary, Tatia Boris, is working assiduously with Cal to increase that sort of um, transportation between the islands, whether it may be the, the, the ferry or the airlift. Um, but that is something that, you know, as I said, is may be outside our, the agency to view, but, you know, our, the, our executives um, actually working to ensure that, you know, we can actually increase that. Um, so we do have um, a very unique situation, but um, the domestic market overall, not just for the building, but the overall, it's very critical to the island. Definitely. Mr. Mohammed, thank you so much for taking time out of your morning to be with us. And we are looking forward to seeing Tobago continue to blossom and receive all the love and all the tourism for amazing Mother Nature and, of course, itself. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much and appreciate the uh, comedy show. That was Deputy Chairperson Nassim Mohammed of the Tobago Tourism Agency talking to us about the Global Bird Fair. Very exciting. Stay tuned. This is the Now Morning Show and it's Tobago Thursdays.